way fast tippy toes. So I've been seeing this virgin. She stayed the night at my house the other night and I did everything in your virgin's podcast to get down her pants. Even tried different angles, but kept getting playful nose. She wouldn't even take off her shirt and I was just in my underwear. I know she's really into me and she's cool as fuck, but very inexperienced. I taught her how to make out. Should I just keep persisting next time we hang out or try something else? Two things I want to bring up. One, why were you in your underwear? When in doubt, whip it out. That is the rule, my friend. So unless your dick was out for her to see, you didn't try hard enough. Also, one thing with virgins is you don't want to try and push it too hard. You want to move pretty slowly. So keep escalating and keep persisting, but don't rush into it. A lot of times you'll find that they're willing to give you a hand job, they're willing to give you a blow job. Some might even let you put it in her butt and not in her vagina. I don't know, they're just weird like that. So one, remember the rule. When in doubt, whip it out. And two, keep persisting, but don't try to always just go for sex. You know, don't be afraid to work slowly and just get a hand job first and just uh, give each other oral first. And then the next time you can try for sex. Zach. Hey fellas, you guys always say high risk equals low risk, but does low risk equal high risk? Let me ask you a question. If one plus one equals to two, does two equal one plus one? Baller for Life asks, what would you have done if the girl said, all of us are taken or have a boyfriend? Would you still go for the number and ask to hang out or just leave? I will usually always go for the number, especially if they're cool and confident girls like this, because I know that if they act this way and they're cool and they get along with me, they probably have friends that act this way as well. So yeah, I'll always get the number and at the very worst, they can introduce me to their cool friends. From Superman. So, did you fuck them? Yeah. From RJ, I also like over-exaggerating, but sometimes like when I fuck around with my friends, they believe everything I'm saying. And then they end up getting somewhat mad when I tell them I was just kidding. What am I doing wrong? Any suggestions? Most likely what's going on here is you're probably not over-exaggerating enough, which means whatever you're saying, whatever you're trying to joke about is too believable. So for example, let's say I'm trying to joke about my StarCraft skills and I tell my friend something like, yo, I just won the weekly local tournament of my hometown last week. That itself is not really an over-exaggeration because yes, it is an over-exaggeration of the truth because I didn't win any tournaments, but it's such a small type of exaggeration that people really just believe you. That's most likely the main problem. There's also other subtle things like tonality, the words you use, the facial expressions you make. Those kind of things can also make or break these over-exaggerations. But those come with practice. So right now just focus on over-exaggerating the facts. Zach Efron asks, can we see some more videos of Edward? You know, the last time we put out a video of Edward or Jacob, everyone was like, yo, this sucks. We don't want to see this anymore. This is just turning into Project Edward or something like that. So you guys got to make up your mind. Do you want to see it or do you not? Who knows? Maybe we'll just do it every once in a while and not so much anymore because I think it's really important that you get a newbie's perspective and how the newbie usually does things. Brian asks, so I met this girl and on the first date we made out, but I could not physically escalate with her to sex. She said that she doesn't like touchy stuff like holding hands, linking arms, or having a guy's arm around her. How do you deal with a girl that doesn't like to be touched? And how do you get her to have sex? That's a good question that has never come up before. Um, a lot of girls are just gonna be weird in certain ways. And I've dealt with this kind of girl before where they don't like to be touchy-touchy, but they're still really into you and they still want to pursue a sexual relationship with you. So what you gotta do in this situation is don't do the touchy stuff. Don't hold hands, don't link arms, don't put your arm around her shoulder and just hang out. In my experience, that's what these girls like to do. They like to just hang out, talk, and then make out and at the end you just take them to your room and have sex like that's what they like to do they're very straightforward they don't like the whole courtship thing and being touchy-feely with you so try that see how it works i'm pretty sure that's what she wants heft look kong in this interaction it seemed like you went slightly indirect when getting that girl's number you told her that you guys could meet up later and you could bring a friend for her 
To me, this made your intention seem a bit vague. I'm curious why you did this because usually you would directly tell the girl one way or another that you are interested in her. Was this you playing semi hard to get? Maybe because she was giving you bad body language by turning away. Good catch on this. Yes, it was me playing semi hard to get. So the thing with these rules that you should always go direct and you should always do this, as I always say, nothing's ever set in stone. And in this particular situation, why I did this was because as soon as I came up, the girl straight up said, this girl is single, meaning she's probably looking to hook up. And judging by the way they're talking to me and how our interaction is going, it's very obvious to me that I'm gonna get these girls to come out with me and I'm probably going to have sex with this girl that is single. So because I'm so sure of this, it makes sense for me to play hard to get and it makes it more of a chase or her. Whereas if I just said, okay, cool, let's have sex, let's hook up, that's not really an attractive thing to do. So what I did there was a calibration thing. I assessed the situation and I calibrated by playing harder to get than usual. J Blue, Giovanni LS. I don't know why you had to put that in parentheses. I kind of over exaggerated today when a big boobed girl pointed out the text on shirt that went across her breasts. Then I casually added and tits. She and a few other nearby girls gave me such an awkward look. I simply said, hey, you're definitely asking for it. So what you did there was make a really high risk joke. When you talk to a girl about her boobs, specifically calling them tits, for some reason a lot of them don't really get that sense of humor and they get offended. So that's probably what happened there. But that's not to say that you're not gonna meet a girl who would find that fucking hilarious. So if I were you, I would just keep doing it, find out what works, what doesn't, what kind of humor works best with you, and then use that knowledge to over exaggerate better in the future. Josh asks, Hey Kong, not related to this video, but I'd like to say the tech support on this site is really good. Twice I've had issues, twice they have been fast resolved and replied to. So pass on to whoever is doing tech support. Good job and keep it up. Awesome, cool man, I'm glad that you're really happy with it. I'll definitely pass this message on to Jesse's cousins in India.